Okay, have you had anything to drink or eat with me? Um... Is reading lips a viable method of effective communication? Hi, can I see your insurance? Oh, um, can I see a copy of your insurance card? Thank you. Okay, and then if you could fill this out for me, take a seat and wait until your name is called. Oh, uh, fill that out and then take a seat over there and wait until your name is called. As you can see, not everyone can read lips. This is a very common question. Can you read lips? However, lip reading is unreliable and is accurate less than half the time for most deaf people. On average, lip reading is only about 45% effective. This can lead to even more communication barriers and dangerous misunderstandings. Imagine being told instructions on when to take life-saving medicine and only getting about 45% of that information. Tell me where it hurts the most. Even if the deaf patient is comfortable with English, we can't assume that they would be in the right state to be able to write back and forth with you. For most complex medical discussions and serious situations, writing back and forth is not effective communication, unless they ask for it. Remember, above all else, use the preferred method the deaf person asked for. If they want pen and paper, or if they are comfortable lip reading and speaking, then proceed, but do not make assumptions beforehand. For their safety and yours, be sure to provide the appropriate accommodations in order to provide the most equitable care.